10.57 on Tuesday night, the Swiss Trimaran Spindrift 2 crossed the line in Plymouth to be the first boat home in the 2015 Rolex Fastnet race. A race time of 2 days, 10 hours and 58 minutes was well outside the multi-hull race record. Largely thanks to the light wind conditions which have tested all of the crews in this unusually slow race. And then some 6 hours later, the first monohulls. Comanche leading the charge took monohull line on as victory. Despite a valiant attempt by fellow American yacht Rambler 88, which chased all the way to the line, finishing just four minutes behind. They were in here first and we saw they were a little high and the breeze was going to go light and so we came in low with a good deal, good deal of pace on. And they actually stopped, they were down to a knot or so for a while and we thought we might actually just go over them. We tried. And there was a battle too for third over the line, which was ultimately won by Mike Slade's Leopard, successfully fighting off the challenge from the ever-pressing Maxi 72 Momo. She did extremely well. She, you know, she's always right there behind us, but always right there, but ready to pounce if, we, if, the, if she had the, uh, uh, the opportunity. Momo's impressive race time makes her the current overall Rolex Fastnet race leader. But with the majority of the fleet still to finish and weather conditions rapidly changing, the crew of Momo are realistic about their chances of hanging on to that lead. It's an offshore race, so you never know what's happening out there now, and uh, there's a bit more breeze now. I think we only ever saw 14 knots as a max, so that some boats could be sailing in now in 20, 25 knots of breeze, so we'll have to wait and see. Stay tuned for more race bulletins as the remaining yachts in the Rolex Fastnet race head for the finish line in Plymouth. <laughs>